Maize anthesis. Maize is a monoecious plant which have two types of inflorescence. Male inflorescence is known as tassel. Around 45 days after sowing, the tassels are emerged in the vegetative stage of the maize. Male spikelet consists of two florets, upper and lower florets. Each consists of a pair of scales that is lemma, pallia, three anthers, two lodicles and rudimentary pistil. Pollen grains are very small, barely visible to the naked eye. They are light in weight and easily carried by wind. The anthesis time in maize is 8 to 10 am. The tassel anthesis extends 2 to 14 days. In maize, the pollen shed is not a continuous process and usually begins 2 to 3 days prior to silk emergence and it continues for 5 to 8 days. Pollen set stops when the tassel is too wet or too dry. Under favorable conditions, pollen grain remains viable for only 18 to 24 hours. Cool temperature and high relative humidity favors pollen longevity. Pollen grain per anther have been reported to range from 2000 to 7500. In maize, the male parts are mature first, so it has protandy type of inflorescence. In maize, the female inflorescence is known as cob. Anthesis of female spikelet starts after the completion of tassel opening and extends 2 to 5 days. The female flower is initially smooth but protuberance soon form in rows. The basal protuberance are formed first and development advances towards the tip of the ears. The part above the attachment of the carpal developed a single sessile ovule. It consists of a nucleus with two rudimentary seed coats. The anterior carpal which face the ear tip form outgrowths which develop into style that is they develop into long thread known as silk. Silk are covered with numerous hairs trichomes which are form an angle with the silk where the pollen grains are carbored. It elongates continuously until fertilization occurs. Under optimal conditions, the interval between anthesis and silking is 1 to 2 days. Stigma is receptive throughout its length for 14 days. Differences in the time of maturity of the male and female inflorescence leads to the cross-pollination in maize. Pollen grains are carried by wind and wind pollination occurs. Pollen grains also carried by insects that is honeybees and insect pollination occurs. Pollen grains are carried by wind or insects and fertilize the silk. After fertilization, the silk turns to dry then inside the cob, grains are formed.